things took an unexpected turn during the game between the Buffalo Bills and Tennessee Titans, when Bills cornerback Dane Jackson had to be rushed to the hospital after suffering from a devastating injury. In this video, we're talking about how an NFL game was brought to a screeching halt after one of the Bills' top defenders took a terrifying hit, and how Buffalo has been absolutely smashing it in the field this season. First up, let's look at what happened. Even though the Highmark studio in New York State was absolutely jam-packed, you could feel the pin drop silence inside. Nobody could have predicted the evening would turn out to be a complete surprise. In the second quarter of the electrifying game between the Buffalo Bills and Tennessee Titans, Bills cornerback Dane Jackson was caught in the midst of a gruesome injury. The force of this impact left Jackson motionless on the turf after the tackle went wrong, and nobody at that moment would have guessed something like this could have happened had the game come to a standstill. Titans running back Hassan Haskins then pulled Jackson off of Burks. The Bills player was seen pounding the ground with his right arm, understandably in pain. Jackson was tackling the Titans wide receiver, Traylon Burks, after a 12-yard gain in the final minute 30 of the game when the injury happened. So you can imagine how the adrenaline was pumping and tensions were high. Fellow Bills teammate Tremaine Edmonds saw the situation and sought to help him out. Unfortunately, this turned into a terrible situation for Jackson. Edmonds came flying in and somehow missed his mark and slammed straight into his fellow teammate, snapping Jackson's neck and head rather violently. That was probably Edmonds' padded shoulder going straight into Jackson's neck. Ouch. That sounds awfully painful. Jackson was on his stomach and wrapping up Burks when his head snapped back causing that painful injury. Up next, the ambulance. The stadium drowned in complete and utter silence as trainers rushed to Jackson's side to aid him in whatever way they could. The television cameras even showed some fans immediately start praying for the 25-year-old. The game was promptly stopped and delayed for 10 minutes as team doctors made sure Jackson was conscious. They checked to make sure his legs were moving as they waited for emergency medical staff to arrive. The Bill star was surrounded by concerned teammates and the medical staff as he lay there on the ground for what felt like like several painfully long minutes. An ambulance was brought onto the field as Dane Jackson was slowly and carefully lowered into it. He was taken off the field to assess his injuries as fans stood there with bated breath. It's an incredibly harrowing experience watching someone you admire or idolize being taken away in an ambulance with no way of knowing if they're okay. The Bills chose to take their cornerback to the Erie County Medical Center for a CT scan and some x-rays to determine the extent of his injuries. But in some good news, he did have full movement in both his arms and legs. Phew, that's a relief. Now, the Buffalo Bills provided an update. Coach Sean McDermott had a brief chat with the player in the stadium tunnel before the ambulance left for the medical facility. The coach claimed that he felt himself go from being a coach to just a human being as he saw Jackson being lifted off of the field. He told Jackson that he's praying for him and they've been caught in an unfortunate situation which they hope to get out of soon. The Buffalo Bills strong safety Jordan Poyer claimed that he exchanged text after the game with Jackson who told him he was alright. The Bills provided an update on Jackson's condition shortly after the defensive star left the Highmark Stadium on a stretcher. A statement was released that claimed that cornerback Dane Jackson was injured and taken to ECMC for medical evaluation and treatment. The statement also confirmed that Jackson had full movement in all extremities. Moving on to what the fans had to say. The fans claimed that they were worried about him and hoping for the best for Jackson. They were saddened at seeing such a gruesome injury, stating that it was hard to watch. We agree and can imagine the excruciating pain that Jackson must be in. We only had to see that injury. He actually experienced it. Popular sports anchor Spencer Davidson said that there was absolutely deafening silence in Orchard Park due to the scary scene. He claimed that his thoughts are with with Dane Jackson, and he hopes to see him go through a speedy recovery. Being in athletics is already tough on its own. With all those rigorous training schedules and calorie-counted nutritional plans, it can really take a toll on one's body. To top it off, there's also the high and unexpected risk of getting injured when on the field. That also means you'd be out of playing form for weeks as you recover. We guess becoming an athlete and maintaining that life is no joke. Up next, what about the rest of the game? The Buffalo Bills were up 17-7 at the time of Jackson's injury and held their lead against the Tennessee Titans. But all the fans really cared about was whether the star cornerback was okay or not. The audience did eventually find its voice again in the second half, as wide receiver Stephon Diggs got the Bills another advantage when he made the second touchdown of the game. He caught a massive 46-yard pass from the team's quarterback Josh Allen.
Allen, whose performance has been nothing but impressive lately. While it's only mid-September, it doesn't feel too early to predict that Allen will be a strong contender for the league MVP award. He eventually finished the night with four stunning touchdowns and zero interceptions for 317 passing yards. Stephon Diggs went a step further to add his third score in the third quarter, bringing the total overall to a 34-7 advantage. The mood in the stadium was electrifying. It's safe to say that with a game-ending score of 41-7, the Buffalo Bills absolutely thrashed the Tennessee Titans, despite losing their star cornerback. With several players already down in the Bills team, they now have a short week to strategize for their first AFC East game this year in Miami, scheduled for Sunday. Luckily, the Buffalo Bills are a solid team, with depth and character, who are expected to bounce back quickly despite losing out on teammates at the moment. In fact, they don't really have a choice considering they're up against the Ravens, Chiefs, and the Steelers coming up on the schedule real soon. Now, in other related news, we have the Bills' outstanding performance this season. The Bills are not just looking at a good 2-0 start, it's a great start, and we're only at week two of the 2022 NFL season. They've pretty much looked unstoppable at most times through the two games we've seen on both sides of the ball. They've won with incredible margins, defeating the Los Angeles Rams 31-10 and their most recent thrashing of the Titans 41-7. Their home opening performance game against the Titans really gave them an outstanding start. Teammates Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs are a large part of these wonderful wins, as the quarterback and the wide receiver make a killer team, not to mention their record-breaking point differential. The Buffalo Bills also have the biggest point differential in the entire history of the NFL, which marks their performances as absolutely stellar. Wide receiver Stephon Diggs joined Jerry Rice from 1987 to 1995 as the only players with multiple three-touchdown games. Diggs caught 12 stunning passes for a total of 148 yards and three touchdowns to make it to this list with Rice. Two of those three touchdowns even came in the third quarter of the game against the Titans, when the Bills managed to put up a whopping 24-point lead over their opponents. How many injuries are the Bills players facing? The Bills were already down two players as they came into week two of the NFL season against the Titans. Defensive tackle Ed Oliver and wide receiver Gabe Davis were both out of the team dealing with ankle injuries before Jackson met his unfortunate fate. Linebacker Matt Milano and defensive tackle Jordan Phillips both finished the game with stinger and hamstring injuries, respectively, while safety Micah Hyde was taken off the field due to a neck injury. The Buffalo Bills are currently 2-0 for the third time in the last four seasons. They had three 2-0 starts in the last 15 years, but it was the first home win for the fantastic team on Monday Night Football since the historic date of 1994. We have to say, it's been a terribly exciting start to the season, and we can't wait to see what's in store for this team. We just hope that more details will emerge about Jackson's injuries, and how soon he's able to recover for the remainder of the season. That's a wrap for this video. Do you have any thoughts about the NFL player who got seriously injured? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See ya in the next one.